Uh, McDonald's menu uh, by 100% pass to get outpacing U.S. inflation rates more than threefold with complaints soaring over high cost, including $18 Big Mac meals in Connecticut, $7.29 for an egg muffin and $5.69 for hash browns. Finance Buzz's study revealed McDonald's as the worst offender, tripling the inflation rate, while other chains like Popeye's, Taco Bell, Chipotle, and Jimmy John's also hiked prices at more than double the inflation rate. Subway and Starbucks, however, maintained prices relatively in line with inflation. Interesting to know, the study based on data from multiple sources and cross-references with the official website highlighted specific increases, like the quarter pounder with cheese meal jumping from $5.39 in 2014 to $11.99 today. A 10-piece McNugget meal, McNug- McNugget meal skyrocketing from $5.99 to $10.99, while McDonald's CEO acknowledged inflation's impact, indicating rising menu prices. Adam. PBD, it's been so long since you had to eat a McDonald's, you forgot what a McNugget is. You've struggled. Good, McNugget, good yeah. for But I have kids, so they, right. they like McDonald's. Um, yeah, this is sort of indicative of what's going on now, but from, from a macro perspective, the U.S. economy, the number one story in Wall Street Journal, if you go to that right now, it's they, ask the, they pose the question, what's wrong with the U.S. economy? Um, and the answer is nothing, it's you. And it's all about perception is reality. And yes, inflation has been a problem. Yes, CPI, consumer price index, has been a problem. Yes, soaring costs have been a problem. But it's actually been solved. But nobody's talking about it. So they, Rob, you have this? Yeah, here it is. Wall Street Journal, number one story today. What's wrong with the economy? It, not the data. It's you. Um, you know, every year since I've been doing money content for the last decade, two-thirds of the American economy is living paycheck to paycheck. It hasn't changed. People's spending decisions, people's saving decisions have not improved. It is what it is. But here's the problem. And and it sort of like juxtaposes how brilliant of a marketer Trump is versus Biden. If Trump had the economy and the numbers that we have in America today, he'd be shouting from the rooftops how great the economy is. But Biden's talking about shrinkflation and Bidenomics. And the moon. And the moon. He just, when, when Trump was in office, when Unemployment was low. Inflation was low. Um, the stock market was soaring. He would every day look at the market. All the blacks have the jobs. The Asians, they spend, they love me. He was, why isn't Biden talking about this? You old fool. <laughs> Say how good the numbers are. They asked the average American, um, has, it, has inflation moved in the right or wrong direction this year, 74% it moved, said it moved in the wrong direction. Wrong. It's gone down from 6% to 3.3%. People still think that we're living in the COVID inflation they hangover. Know, that's not it, though. But they're feeling it in a different way. This is this, so, so what you're saying is, for example, somebody can turn around and say, but Adam, look at this. Biden yep. is the president for the rich. What do you mean? Because the wealth of the top 1% just hit $44 trillion, highest ever, CNBC. So then I could say, under Biden, the rich keep getting richer, the poor keep getting poorer. What kind of a president is he? You know, isn't he supposed to be, you know, so he's, he's just helping the rich. He's just mm-hmm. helping the Wall Street guys get richer. There's a difference between the, mar- the economy being great for wealthy guys who have money and destroying middle America. Mm-hmm. Those are two different things. The average person saying that about the inflation, not the rich guy that's got the money. He's not feeling it. Yeah. Well, look, the 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 shrinking middle class is not a Biden problem. It, it's been pervasive in, in the United States for the last 50 years. You know, it, not that I'm advocating for Bidenomics, but his whole premise with Bidenomics is the middle out, the top, the bottom up, not the top down. The exact opposite of what Reagan was doing with trickle down economics. But what what I'm going is to the mindset of the average person. The average person, forget about whether you like Trump, hate Trump, like Biden, forget about Biden. The reality is the data shows inflation has gone down. It's been cut in half. The US has rebounded more than better than any economy, major economy in the world. Biden doesn't talk about it. Horrible marketer. The they asked they asked the average person, has your uh, investments gone in the right or wrong direction in the last 12 months. 47% said the wrong direction. Newsflash, the S&P 500 was up 24% last year. The point is this, and you can go to the stats about 
states versus the U.S. economy, and this is what it is. No, no, I sent you a picture of it. We talked about the swing states. The seven swing states. You ready? Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, North Carolina, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. They asked the average person, the average citizen, how is the economy for you better or worse in your state? Rob, punch in. Every single state said 10 to 25% better. But when they asked about the overall U.S. economy, they said 25% worse. The point that I'm getting at is people know in their states, in their homes, it's actually fine. But from a macro perspective, because Joe Biden is such a weak, ineffective, and feckless leader, that's the symbolism of why they're like, the economy sucks, it's horrible, but the numbers actually don't show that. And going back going back to the origination of the story, what was it, that McDonald's prices have surged 100% in 10 years? I think we're, we're glossing over the fact that that's a blessing in disguise. That food is actually poison, so guess what? Go buy organic shit. Go shopping good. Who the you good? Let them charge triple. Go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, and you get the same amount of food for a way a thousand times more healthier than what the hell they're putting in a chicken McNugget. Oh, I'll tell you, it's not that Biden has a marketing problem. It's that he's an economic idiot, and his policies haven't improved things for the American middle class. You know, I'm married to a teacher, and I have great visibility over the last 10 years to teacher pay. There's no annual bonus if you're a teacher. Benefits program, the the erosion that happens to your health care insurance of the percent they pay versus you pay, despite, you know, union negotiations or stuff. Although the BizDoc Babe has taught at private schools, there still is erosion of benefits. And you take a look at that. And then I look at a teacher with a child and I look at, you're right, Vinny, maybe you shouldn't be, you know, eating highly sugared cereal, but that cereal has gone from three to four bucks and the stuff in the store has gone up. It has gone up. It's not a marketing problem. It is a look at my wallet and there's nothing there product. And I'm trying to raise a family problem. That's what's going on. And you can say, oh, you know, this has been going on for decades. You know what's happening? Well, guess what? Every president has an opportunity to change it and make it better. And a recent president didn't start any new wars. And a recent president was trying to bring back American jobs. And the current president seems to be, you know, hell bent on indicting a prior president. So if we want to talk about it holistically, then just bring it down to the person saying, oh, your perception isn't the reality. Your perception isn't the reality. That's a lot of crap. People are looking in their wallets and it's not making ends meet and it's getting tougher. And it's not that inflation is down today. It's what inflation has done on a compound effect on the last three years. This plus this plus this plus this. And it's 33 percent. That box of cornflakes is is very accurate representation of what's happening on the rest of the shelves. Gas may go down as a commodity, so it's thank God cost them less to get back and forth to work. But everything else in their life is 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 at a new plateau, and they're they're fighting it every day. You know, it's it's not perception that there's 1.1 trillion dollars of credit card debt now it's not perception that buy now pay later was was such a hit at christmas and now it's at a 40 percent delinquency rate that's reality that's hitting the american middle class yeah there you go i I don't know if i could have said it any better i don't have anything else to add but then what you just said right there i agree 